Hi friends, in today's video I'm going to talk about how I level up reputation at Finch all the way from 0 to 30. Most videos will assume that you're already at rank 15, which unlocks Deep Sight Tier 3, which allows you to farm chests on repeat, which is fantastic reputation, the fastest it can possibly be. As a second note, if you load up Stadia or uninstall your Witch Queen expansion on Xbox, then if you pick up these Throne World engrams, it will have the World Loot Pool, which has more desirable loot, like the Suros Hand Cannon or the Funnel Web SMG. So the method most people will tell you to do to farm 215 initially is to just do bounties, public events, and pick up resources. Fallout Plays has a good resource loop that is very fast and efficient. Make sure that you have Wombo Detector on your Ghost. I'll show you the method I do though. This is just a Lost Sector loop. Drewski mentioned it to me, I think through Drewski's chat. So I'm going to the Metamorphosis Lost Sector. The loadout that I'm using is Rat King for Invis, Empty Vessel for Auto Loading Blinding Grenades, the other half for Eager Edge and Boss Damage, as well as Sentinel for Extended Invis and Overshield. And I have Dune Marchers on for just the sprint speed, but the chain melee is also nice for consistency. So without further ado, let's get this done. Just gonna travel over. I'm working on a first impressions video, kind of going over thoughts before I post that. So it'll be here soon. But if I had to say a real quick summary, the campaign is incredible. I don't want to spoil that for y'all. The weapon crafting is, it's amazing that it's here, but I'm disappointed that the entire loot pool isn't in crafting. That's such a hard miss. Such a big, big miss. All right, hopping off the Sparrow so I don't get immediately destroyed. I think the Lost Sector is right here. Yes, there's our symbol. Uh, PvP is very similar to last season. Same stuff that's strong, same playstyles that's strong are still strong. Special weapons still rampant. Lack of objective mode, have people sitting in the back. People afraid to take gunfights, those kind of things. So here we are. I'm going to get back on track here. Eager Edge, look at the ceiling so it doesn't track onto an enemy. Blind, get my cleanup, reloader on my gauntlets to reload this fast. The snipers can kill really quick. Waiting on that auto load. Hit the knight, take him out really quick. I want to avoid the ice behind me, if possible. All good. Even if you get iced, it's fine. Keep using the auto load. If you bump at any point and lose momentum, that's when you shoulder charge. You can shoulder charge this group, but they're not threatening. Well, that would have been funny to arc attack right there. Break these three crystals to hit the knight. Again, shoulder charge to maintain momentum. This is the boss door. I'm saving a vortex grenade for this. I place a shield down so that if the boss stomps, I have a counter to it. There goes the void wall. Void grenade. So if he stomps, I just stand behind the barricade. Sword goes in. Boss dead. 70 reputation. And then here's the best part. When you float up, there is going to be some resources in the room that you previously were in. So you see those, use Rat King to grab them safely if you need to. And now we're out. Since we're going uphill, Titan Skating is very valuable here. And I'll do one more run for posterity. Again, anytime you lose momentum, just shoulder charge to get it back. Once you see the bottom left text appear for Miasma, it tells you you can restart. And just gonna get this down like clockwork. Can uh, watch a show on the side, watch some more YouTube videos, etc. While you get this done.
You can also shoulder charge to cancel that momentum. Or just shoulder charge the group if you want a bit if you have like fast enough melee cooldown. What I like about this is the consistency and the fact that I don't have to look around for anything. They're in the same generic places every time. So I hope you found this useful. It may not be the best, there probably is a better method, but it's really hard to search for these kind of things on YouTube. So time will tell what the fastest method is. Uh, let us know in the comment section if you have a faster method. And or if you do, make a YouTube video. This is a great opportunity to start uh, flexing your muscles as a content creator. Start exploring the video making process, that kind of thing. So good luck. See y'all in the next one.